Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anshuman and welcome to the first video in this series Mad About Python. And in this video, we are going to see how you set up Visual Studio Code and get started with Python development. Also, I'll be showing you what are the code extensions you can add to your Visual Studio Code in 2020 for Python development and some basic editing that has to be done to your text editor for Python development. So let's get started. Now, the first step is to install Python package to your system and for for that you have to visit python.org and here you can see there's an option to download your python package now if you're running linux mac os and other operating systems there are options to download that here as you can see for mac users you can go and download the latest one the python release here 3.8.3 may 13 2020 otherwise for windows users you can directly click this yellow button and it will download the latest version of python to your system as you can see there's a zip file which will be downloaded to your browser and when you open this, this is basically an executable file. Since I have already installed Python and I'm getting this option, but uh, when you go and do a fresh install, you will be welcomed with this menu. So you have to do is click all these boxes because all are important in this documentation pip, which stands for Python installation package, which will be really helpful in later development stages. TK is basically tkinter for the GUI development will be, uh, will be following in this whole course and the python test suits for debugging and all that purpose all right so i'm not going to do that once you are welcome with this menu you can directly click this and install python now what i'm do i'm going to do is i'll be showing you what it looks like when your python is already installed so you can head over to command prompt and once your python is successfully installed you can just type python here and as you can see it will welcome you with the ide built in the command prompt now the second step is you have to head over to code.visualstudio.com or simply vs code and you can visit the first link here and here you can see the browser will automatically detect which operating system you're currently on so i'm on windows i can directly click this stable build or in case you are a mac user or linux distribution you're using so you can download from the drop down menu a stable build so i'll just click this button and there's an executable file which will be downloaded automatically here. All right. So once you have the executable file, you can click this. And uh, as you can see, I am already running VS Code, so I can't install it again. So once uh, your VS Studio is done, it will look something like this. Once you have installed Visual Studio Code, you can directly head over to the search option and type Visual Studio Code here. And here you can find your app. Just click the Visual Studio Code icon and you get the Visual Studio Code welcome menu, something like this. And you have these some basic options like settings, your tool, languages and the color theme option. I like dark theme. I mean, everyone does. Uh, so you can choose if you want a light theme, you can just click this and I'll just revert it back. Yeah, so dark theme looks good, easy on your eyes. And uh, the next step you're going to see is how do you install extensions? Now that you're done with uh, Visual Studio Code installation, the next thing is to add extensions to your Visual Studio Code and start with the Python development. Uh, if you remember, we have done the Python package installation and that time we had the option to choose the directory we want to save our program. And that directory or the path will be by default in your C drive. You can head over to your C drive and go to users, your account, and you can see there will be a file created here the vs code file when you click this vs code file you can see all your python programs will be saved here by default by the extension .py and if you're doing a uh, gui development which we'll be doing as a part of this series which will be based on tkinter or kinter whatever you call it uh, you can see your python files will be stored at this uh, folder and also you can add IC, uh, the png files jpg g files jpeg files or ico even icon files you can store here and uh, that was it now that you're done with installing visual studio code and uh, opening a file in your directory to save your code you can just head over to the extension button you can click on this and this is your marketplace guys it is basically your play store your app store where you download apps and in visual studio code you can download packages for your development great so the first package is obviously you have to install the python package yeah 
the first package as you can see has 20.6 million downloads and this package is by Microsoft you can install this Python package it has all the tools all all the versions you have the pip command you have the Jupyter notebook supporting variable explorer text explorer snippets and everything you can just install this package blindly as you need this python package my second favorite package is anaconda anaconda package is amazing if you're familiar with jupyter code or jupyter notebook uh, by microsoft you can do advanced level operations on anaconda package if you install the anaconda extension all right you can install this also in future developments you may need this okay and the third package which you need is a python autocomplete kit python autocomplete kit is amazing kite they are the leader in market of autocomplete these guys are amazing you can head over to their website and download the kite extension directly from this here you can see it is free for windows this gives your python code ai autocomplete features this is amazing you can check out their documentation you can even go for kite pro if you're a pro developer all right the second uh, thing you need is uh, extension for auto output or as you type your code you can display the output if you're into sort of that thing you can download here apple for python this uh, cat looking like icon which will be seen in your uh, extension later if you open something like this you can see this cat here you can click this and you can see live output here as you type your code so this extension is amazing and uh, last two things I want to add is a snippet package where it will be easier for you and faster way of typing code you can add the snippet package so python snippet will be amazing you can just go to python snippet mm, yes here you can add the python snippet here click on install and you can add this it has five stars really great and it has all the uh, snippets all the functions all the blocks you need in python you can add this one more thing is doc string generator for python this is also a great package if you want for your doc type files in python you can install a doc type string generator also the python snippets which i have already explained and the last package which you will need is um, the indentation package as python has no brackets to close a function like that you know python uses indentation so this indent package is a lifesaver you if you are familiar with python you know when you type functions if you don't indent those lines properly it will show you an syntax error uh, so for that you can use the uh, auto indent feature by using this package you can install the python indent all right once you're done with all these you can just close your extension things it will be auto installed guys no uh, nothing to worry like that you're all set to start coding and uh, for this i'll just have a demo run and you can use any other program you can you just use a hello world python program to check whether your dependencies and your uh, files directories are all set for the development environment you can just click f5 to run this code and as you can see there's no error in this so I can just type random stuff here and you can see okay the code is successfully running in case it doesn't you have the option to choose which package of Python you want to use as uh, for the execution part so you can use the conda or the anaconda based which you have installed as a Python execution package or you can use the basic uh, Python package, the Python 3.8.3 32 bit, which you have installed from the python.org website. All right, you can choose that here, and you can also choose if you want to run it on a Windows PowerShell or the Python debugging console. The, the Python debugging console is by default, it's really good. You can see your uh, output in the in the terminal right here. So that was it for this video, and stay tuned for more. As a part of this series Mad About Python, I will be posting videos every day which will be focusing on building GUI based applications using Python and uh, using tkinter. So that was it. Uh, see you in the next one.